50 actuators per hand, 100 actuators total. Elon Musk just confirmed Tesla Bot Gen 4 will feature 44 degrees of freedom hands capable of executing 5,000 different tasks, including making pizza. The price? Just $20,000. Compare that to competitors. Boston Dynamics and Figure AI robots cost over $500,000. Musk states production is already underway, with Gen 4 launching in 2027. But here's what demands scrutiny. The hand technology alone accounts for 50 to 60% of total costs. So how does Tesla achieve this pricing breakthrough? What manufacturing innovation makes this economically viable? The answer lies in Tesla's existing manufacturing ecosystem. Musk revealed that every Tesla vehicle already functions as a four-wheeled robot. The CyberCab operates autonomously, packed with high-capacity batteries, advanced power electronics, motors, gear systems, AI vision processing chips, and fleet management software. These components cost Tesla significantly less than competitors who build from scratch because Tesla produces them at massive scale for vehicles. When you add arms and legs to this proven platform, you get Optimus without the billion-dollar R&D overhead that other robotics companies face. This explains part of the cost advantage, but not all of it. The hand technology presents the real engineering challenge. Musk admits it represents 50 to 60% of Optimus Gen 3's current $50,000 production costs. The human hand contains 27 bones, 29 joints, and over 30 muscles working in precise coordination. Replicating this requires actuators that are compact, powerful, and extraordinarily precise. Tesla's Gen 4 hand features five fingers with varying joint configurations and lengths, plus a musculature system distributed throughout the forearm. Each finger must move independently while coordinating with others to grip delicate eggs without crushing them or lift heavy objects without dropping them. If the hand costs $25,000 to $30,000 to produce today, how does the entire Gen 4 robot sell for $20,000 in three years? Musk's solution centers on volume. At 1 million units per year, component costs drop dramatically. Actuator suppliers offer bulk pricing that cuts per unit costs by 60 to 70%. Assembly line efficiency improves as workers repeat identical tasks thousands of times. Defect rates decrease from 5% to under 1% through process refinement. Tesla already manufactures over 1.8 million vehicles annually, giving them manufacturing expertise that pure robotics companies completely lack. But this raises a critical question. Who purchases 1 million humanoid robots in the first production year? Industrial manufacturers need thousands, not millions. Healthcare systems move slowly on new technology adoption. The residential market won't reach millions of buyers at $20,000 price points immediately. Where does Musk see this demand materializing? The capability specifications provide some answers. Gen 4 can operate 8,760 hours annually compared to a human's 1,800 to 2,000 hours. That's nearly five times more operational time, but operational time isn't the same as productivity. A robot working at 60% of human speed delivers less value despite longer hours. Musk addresses this by emphasizing consistency over speed. Humans fatigue after six hours of repetitive work. Concentration drops. Precision declines. Error rates increase. Optimus maintains identical performance from hour one to hour 1000. In manufacturing context, this consistency matters more than raw speed. A production line running 24-7 with stable quality control eliminates the inefficiencies of shift changes, brakes, and human variability. Is this where Tesla sees the primary market emerging? The development timeline shows Tesla's aggressive deployment strategy. Optimus 2.5 currently navigates office environments independently, recharges itself autonomously, and performs basic manipulation tasks. Gen 3 launches in Q1 2025 with dramatically improved appearance. Musk claims viewers will need to physically touch it to confirm it's robotic rather than a person in an exoskeleton. The visual realism comes from concealed wiring, hidden actuators, and fluid movement patterns that mimic human biomechanics. By Q1 2027, 
Gen 4 arrives with the 44 degree of freedom hands capable of threading needles, turning screws with precise torque control, and manipulating small components. Gen 5 follows in 2028 with further refinements. Each generation scales from thousands to tens of millions to potentially hundreds of millions of units. This is an incremental innovation following typical industry adoption curves. Tesla projects explosive exponential growth that defies historical robotics market patterns. The hand's actual capabilities determine whether these projections hold validity. Musk describes tasks requiring genuine human-level dexterity, holding fragile objects without damage, manipulating tools with proper grip pressure, assembling small components that require tactile feedback. The 44 degrees of freedom enable finger movements impossible for current industrial robots limited to 6 to 12 degrees of freedom in their grippers. Watch Optimus 2.5 demonstrations closely. It performs martial arts movements fluid enough that event attendees initially mistook it for a person wearing a costume. It holds microphones on stage with appropriate grip strength and serves food at Tesla's diner without spilling. These aren't pre-programmed routines in laboratory conditions. The robot operates in dynamic environments with unpredictable obstacles and human interaction. Tesla's AI processes visual data in real time, predicts object behavior, and adjusts grip strength continuously based on tactile sensor feedback. This AI capability stems directly from full self-driving development. Tesla spent nearly a decade training neural networks to interpret complex visual environments, predict movement patterns of surrounding objects, and execute split-second decisions in high-stakes scenarios. A vehicle traveling 70 miles per hour must identify pedestrians, cyclists, and other vehicles while predicting their trajectories and planning safe paths simultaneously. Transferring this computational framework to humanoid robots gives Tesla an advantage competitors haven't recognized. Boston Dynamics excels at locomotion and balance, but lacks real-world AI deployment at Tesla's scale. Figure AI focuses on specific industrial tasks with structured environments. Neither possesses Tesla's experience deploying AI systems that operate in completely unstructured, unpredictable conditions with human safety implications. Musk identifies three critical challenges in humanoid robotics. Engineering sophisticated hands with human-equivalent dexterity, deploying AI reliably in unpredictable real-world environments, and achieving manufacturing scale that reduces costs to consumer accessible levels. Tesla claims capability across all three dimensions simultaneously. Safety considerations become paramount at scale. A 150-pound robot operating in homes around children and elderly individuals cannot malfunction. It cannot misinterpret voice commands and respond dangerously. It cannot move unpredictably and cause injury. Tesla's approach involves multiple safety layers, including mechanical force limits that prevent excessive grip pressure, AI behavior, constraints that prohibit dangerous actions, emergency stop protocols accessible to users, and continuous self-monitoring systems that detect anomalies. Yet no technology achieves perfect safety. Self-driving systems still experience accidents despite extensive testing. Industrial robots still injure workers despite decades of safety protocol development. How does Tesla guarantee Optimus won't pose risks when deployed across millions of households globally? Musk hasn't provided detailed safety validation data, and this gap raises legitimate concerns among robotic safety experts. The economic implications extend beyond individual robot sales. Musk envisions futures where robot-to-human ratios reach 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 globally. With 8 billion people, that suggests 24 to 32 billion humanoid robots within two decades. Add industrial deployment ratios of 3 robots per human worker, and global robot populations could reach 40 billion units. This fundamentally transforms economic structures. Material goods become abundant because robots manufacture products, construct buildings, and maintain infrastructure without depleting natural resources through efficient production. Labor costs approach zero, making previously expensive items accessible to everyone. Housing construction accelerates as robot crews work continuously without breaks. But what happens to human employment? If robots perform most physical and many cognitive tasks, where do humans find purpose and income? Musk suggests humans shift entirely to creative and intellectual pursuits, 
But this assumes seamless economic transition without massive unemployment disruption. The implementation details remain unclear, and these details determine whether this vision becomes utopia or dystopia. Healthcare applications demonstrate both the promise and the complexity. Hospitals waste enormous staff time on repetitive physical tasks like transporting patients between departments, moving medical equipment, sterilizing rooms after procedures, and managing supply inventories. These activities consume thousands of staff hours weekly, but add minimal medical value. Optimists could handle all of them while operating 24-7 without fatigue. In surgical contexts, the precision advantage becomes genuinely transformative. Human surgeons experience hand tremors after extended procedures. Emotional stress affects decision-making. Attention lapses occur during hour 10 of complex surgeries. Optimus doesn't experience any of these limitations. It maintains identical precision on the thousandth procedure as the first, with zero performance degradation. Does this make Optimus a medical revolution, or does it eliminate jobs for orderlies, technicians, surgical assistants, and support staff? Both outcomes occur simultaneously. Domestic functionality remains the critical adoption barrier. Most consumers won't purchase humanoid robots until they confidently manage household tasks that justify the investment. For decades, this capability existed only in science fiction. Robots preparing complete meals, not just reheating frozen food. Robots doing laundry from sorting through folding. Robots performing complex cleaning that requires recognizing different surfaces and adjusting techniques accordingly. Cooking demands sensory perception to assess food readiness, fine motor control to manipulate utensils and ingredients, and learned experience to adjust recipes based on available ingredients. Even advanced industrial robots can't replicate these capabilities, yet Musk claims Gen 4 will make pizza from scratch, including dough preparation, sauce spreading, topping distribution, and oven operation. If accurate, this represents genuine breakthrough achievement in robotic manipulation. If exaggerated, it permanently damages Tesla's credibility in robotics. The verification comes in 2027. So here's what the $20,000 price point actually means. This isn't just about affordability. It's about reaching the tipping point where humanoid robots become as accessible as cars. When Tesla achieves 1 million units annually, the economics transform permanently. No competitor can match this production scale without Tesla's existing automotive infrastructure. That 44 degree of freedom hand represents the critical difference between robots that perform simple repetitive tasks and machines that genuinely handle the 5,000 complex activities humans do daily. This is why Musk believes Optimus surpasses even the smartphone in significance. If Gen 4 delivers these capabilities in 2027, we're witnessing robotic shift from expensive industrial equipment to mainstream consumer technology. The pizza making demonstrates that robots can finally manage unstructured, nuanced tasks that have always required human hands and judgment. Gen 4 launches in 2027, Gen 5 follows in 2028. By 2030, tens of millions of these robots could be operating worldwide. The transformation is accelerating. Which capability matters most to you? the surgical precision, the 24-7 operation, or the domestic assistance? Share your perspective in the comments below. If this analysis added value, hit the like button and share this video. Subscribe to Tesla Zone for in-depth breakdowns of the technology reshaping our world. Turn on notifications so you catch our next deep dive. The robotics revolution isn't coming, it's here.